hi welcome back to my channel the topic i'll be talking about today is how to define your beauty it is an impromptu video so i am going to share based on my own experience and how i dealt with myself to be able to define my own beauty and be the person i am today i am still a work in process but i have really done great so far <laughs> i really don't know how this topic came banging in my head i tried to take it away because it is not the kind of video i want to make right now but it kept banging so i know that my spirit being wants to connect to someone i don't know who that someone is but it can only reach that one that person if you keep sharing this video because this is something that everybody can experience it or may be experiencing it or will experience it so this is the reason why i think my spirit being wants me to, to push it out this is a three series video on how to define your beauty today i will be talking about define your beauty my experience i myself i have felt this same insecurity growing up i know the challenges that i had facing it especially when you are facing backlash from people that are supposed to protect you your leg is too long stomach is too big nose is pointed flat big thick thin you're old you're young you're too tall too black too yellow wahala see guys i got all this body slandering and being an emotional shy and quiet kid while growing up receiving these bombshell i just got back into my shell especially when it's coming from people you cannot really retaliate back on don't let anybody define your beauty for you it is your duty to define your beauty not theirs just do you seriously they find something about every part of my body complaining about and at some point honestly i felt so uncomfortable in myself as a teenager when i was growing up i wasn't really a socialite i was this quiet kid and very shy really really shy so being a very emotional kid a very shy kid and a very quiet kid and they now threw this bomb of your eye is big, your mouth is big, your, oh my god, they just threw me back into my shell. All I want to do is to just do what I want to do, getting back into my shell. I don't want anybody to see those body parts that they are complaining about. And especially when it comes from people that are really close to you, people that you love, people that are supposed to affirm your beauty to you, when they are also inclusive in the body shape, oh my God, it is hard to deal with. It is hard for any child to witness this. Everybody is telling me what is not good about myself. So one day I had someone that I really have great respect for. And I know my, my parents also have great respect for this person and one day this guy came talking to me and then started touching my legs oh you have a beautiful legs and he was going up going up going up my panties all like, what i just removed his hand i was having mixed feeling this mixed feeling is one a feeling of gratitude that oh somebody said that my legs are fine so my legs were some as a one only one time somebody is appreciating something about me and it's my leg so i wanted to feel comfortable and let him keep touching me but on a second thought i was like no it's not right he's not supposed to touch me i removed his hand and i ran when i ran he later came around and started asking me please that i should not tell my mom what happened because this person is somebody my mom so much trusted and anyways i agreed and i didn't tell my mom i kept it quiet but this really opened my eyes it really opened my eyes we are all so vulnerable to words especially children i realized this very early in life we desperately want to be validated 
most validations we get as kids, either our beauty, our works, efforts, etc., shapes our entire adulthood because they will forever be in our heart. Somehow, I was able to learn quickly through that fellow of an uncle whom attempted action towards me. That was exactly how thousands of kids are being molested each year and abused. 80% of the time, we desperately want to hear something and if we don't hear it, it opens the hole that people can use to get in and hurt us. It is a huge temptation. This is why it is very good for parents to always speak life into their children, especially help them to define their beauty. Parents or anybody, let your everyday prayer be that God should direct the heart of your children as they are going out, as they are coming in, because you may be the most expert parental person giving your children the expert guidance on everything but if god doesn't direct their heart they will miss the step if god doesn't direct their heart they will not have the confidence even as an adult if your mind is broken it is very easy for you to lose your self-worth therefore if you lose your self-worth you will be looking for validation from someone else Proverbs 3, 5-6 to six says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. This is exactly what happened to me. I have no clue what I was doing, but Almighty directed my heart. Because even when the guy touched me, I wasn't sure if I should let him keep touching me or not, because he had given me the validation which nobody had ever given me validation that there's something good about my body and he gave me the validation that was enough ticket for me to allow him to do with me whatever he will but because of that particular verse he just directed my heart that i was able to say no don't touch me and the way i i stood up and with the anger in my heart at that moment he was pleading please don't tell your mother i wish i did but anyways i wouldn't know what would have happened because maybe i would have gotten a beating if um i had said it but mm, i kept it quiet but i avoided that man with every nerve every drop of blood in me i avoided him so if you are waiting for someone to validate you because you have lost your self-worth it will never be enough because that person will only validate you for their own desire for their own need to take advantage of you so you don't let that happen you need to help your children to build their mindset by helping them know that they are in control of how they feel they are in control of who they are let them know who they are let them be strong in who they are let them affirm who they are strongly whenever they say something bad about me i interject i didn't even know that what i was doing is taking away those negative voices for me it was actually how i feel this is why self appreciation appreciation needs to be taught to our young girls let them learn to appreciate every part of their body not growing up to know that okay contouring you must do it for your nose to be pointed or you need to go do nose job for you to look beautiful or mouth job listen you are absolutely beautiful you don't need validation from any damn person for you to be beautiful you are beautiful just the way you are don't let anybody put you at war with your own body not being harsh not being rude but being honest because honestly if you really look you will see that your body is beautiful secondly when you open the door to allow these slanderers to define your beauty for you they will never see anything good in your body everything they are seeing is the bad ones they will never see the good ones to compliment in your body so the more you keep listening to them to help you validate your beauty the more they keep seeing worse and worse things you will never be perfect as long as they are concerned 
honestly, do you know what these people are saying to me? I never actually knew that I have pointed nose until a certain age. All I was seeing is big nose. Big nose, not pointed nose. Nobody ever told me that I have small dimple, no? See? I never knew I had it until I took picture one day and it was so obvious I said oh wow so this thing I was admiring and my cousin I I actually do have it okay now oh, just that my one is shy her one is so beautiful I love it I always tell her I love borrow me, borrow me your pimple your pimples dimples uh, they can try to bring you down you know based on your age based on your gender women mostly Face this attack most of the time if you don't have self-confidence you will fall victim and you will start feeling sorry for yourself and start feeling down for yourself so this is why you really need to work on yourself parents you have to do this work not just for your young girls but for your both boys and girls everybody have equal right to feel good and feel confident about who they are when they grow up and make choices to take plastic surgery or do some amendment to their body it's their take but growing up let them love themselves the way they are because there is a reason why what they have they have it and it is a tool everything you have is a tool if you use it very well it will work out for you so if you don't love yourself how will you love someone no matter how tall short thin fat um slender uh, dark color chocolate cream candy light however you are breast is big small pp big small it doesn't matter you are absolutely beautiful the way you are it is all in your mind you need to talk to your mind you need to tell yourself how you want to look and it will resonate from inside out work on yourself work on your mind work on your self-love this is the only way you can overcome these challenges everybody everybody not just kids